Nothing in that one. Nothing right there. Nothing there either. Nothing in the dirt hole. Okay, so now I'm at the trap that murdered my finger yesterday, and I have gloves. Here I am at the dirt hole. There's the dirt hole. Here's going to be my trap. I'm going to put the head cam on. That way I don't have to mess around with the big camera. Okay, guys. So I got it put in the ground, and I'm putting this dirt around it so that it will stay in the ground super solid the solider it is the better chance it has of the coyote staying in this spot long enough to set it off so now for this part which is bait and lure i take my gloves off that's so i don't get the scent on the next trap i set for bait I'm going to use the same thing I used on my last set, RK's Predator Plus. And this time, before I put it on there, I'm just going to take a little bit of this grass right here. Roll it up like a rat's nest. And then I'm going to stick some bait in here, then stick it in the hole. Got the bait. Got my homemade rat's nest. Mmm. Give me a good little... Mmm, about a, about a teaspoon. I'm just gonna put it right in that thing. Throw the stick away. And now, I'm gonna stick this inside the dirt hole. Right down in there. I'm gonna get a bigger old stick. Or right, I'll just use my steak thing. Push it down in the hole. Good and in the bottom. On the last set I used lure. On this one I'm gonna use some fox pee. This is red fox pee. Now what's special about red fox pee is not only does it attract red fox, but it also attracts coyotes. Because coyotes are extremely territorial against red fox. Get your ear up, spread some around the set. Ooh, it's quite a bit. That'll be good. And that set there is good to go. Last year in that same exact spot, caught a big coyote the first day it was set. It's that time again. So as of now, my bow is sighted in to 20 yards and 20 yards only. My goal today, 25 and 30. Right now, I'm gonna be shooting at 10, just to make sure that my sights hasn't been knocked off. Okay, I'm gonna call it good. I'm here at 15, just to get a little practice. Okay, so on the top one, I pulled it a little bit, and on the bottom, still on target. Now I'm back at 20, just to confirm that my top pin is still on. If I can do good here, we'll move on back and side it in at 25. It's way too cold to be out here shooting in a t-shirt, but I'm doing it anyways. Here's my 20 yards. That's a little bit low. Hopefully... Hopefully I messed up on both those, but we're gonna try it again. We may need a little adjustment And that's why you reshoot you always got to make sure now I'm gonna move back to 25 yards and see if I can't try to get my bow sighted in if I'm lucky I can get it sighted in the 25 and then I'll back up to 30 Let's see here, a little bit high. I was aiming with my next pin down. I'm gonna move that pin up a little bit and see what happens. So here's what I'm working with. 
this pen right here, this pen right here, 10, 15, and 20 yards. This one, 25. This one right here needs to come right here to be 30. Just gonna loosen this one. Move it up. We'll try it right there. Tighten her down. Give you test shots. As soon as I shot it, the camera fell. But I think I got pretty good groupings. I thought wrong. One way up here, one down there. I got it sighted in for 30 yards, which means instead of being able to shoot Bucky at 20 yards, I can now shoot him at 30, which gives me a lot more options when it comes to hunting Bucky. If you liked it, hit the like button and leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're not already. It's super cold and I'm going inside.